So here we are in a lovely place called where are we so? Babington. Babington. Our patch. So been to this shop before and we actually had to get scaffold up and clear the drain through the top of the vent pipe because this toilet here is uh, an addition to the house and uh, the pipe work runs all the way through the floors right down to the other side of the house and it actually runs through the joist between two joists so yeah so it's my uh, screwdriver so anyway we're gonna do uh, what the installers should have done look at the state of that we're gonna move that so that you can't see it, re-plumb that in. I don't normally do much plumbing anymore, but I couldn't leave that. Toilet's, uh, toilet's backing up. We're gonna make, although that's a big panel, there's only a little access point underneath, so we're gonna cut that open uh, with a saw, cut the plasterboard, make a, a man-sized opening. All woman sized for any people out there that want to start getting politically correct with the terminology. We're going to cut a hole in the stack for an access point and we're going to put a flexi shaft in and see if we can clear it. So, yeah, there you go. Cool. Alright, so we've got the panel off. Put a little mark on the wall there where the top of the panel is. So we're just going to cut a, a section out here. Uh, piece of timber here. Yeah. So we'll start with cutting the uh, cutting the plasterboard out. So that should do it. And we'll cut that, we'll cut that out so yeah, look at the art skills there. Scrap. Now what was the there was a little dog in um Scooby Dooby Doo. Shaggy. No, there was a little tiny dog and I think his name was Scrubby. Scrappy, Scrappy, Scrappy yeah, Doo! Remember him? Yeah, Scrappy, Scrappy Doo! The Scooby Dooby Doo and Scrappy Doo. I think, could be making this up, I don't know. Let me know in the comments if, if I'm right. <laughs> so, you put a little plaster board. Saw it in first. Be that. I think we'll end up cutting through the uprights as well. Let's take this out first, though. The uprights. So, uh, if you want to just get the camera in there, that there is the stack, and we're gonna we're gonna put a access point in there. We're gonna alter this pipe so that this water um, 
uh, points here just by this. So that film this way. <coughs> so so that is going to be coming through underneath here, and you can't see it. You know, it's only a little. You know, they could have done that easy when they installed installed the the toilet. Just altered where the pipe came through the wall, but I mean, come on. It is. It looks rubbish, doesn't it? So what we need, so is uh, to get our big saw, cut this out, cut this section away, so we can get through. I'm not going under there like a okay. some kind of acrobat. Right, tea rating time. Tony's on the coffee. Yeah, you'll give it a 10 out of 10, whatever it is. Uh. No. A little bit stronger. On first examination, a little bit strong. Hot chocolate? It's like that. <laughs> this tastes like tea. It's a little bit strong, but it is a nice cup of tea, so it's a solid 9 out of 10. I actually think it's Yorkshire tea that, but it's just a little bit strong for me. Oh, and what's that you've got? <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> You should be able to make them noises thing. So what we've got to do next, so yeah, <clears throat> we've got to go out to the front, turn the water off. Don't know if you can see that there, that pipe. Yeah. That's the pipe that we've got to uh, cut, and we're going to cut it. Uh, we're going to cut it here, drop it down with a, an elbow that way, and then put another elbow and just send it through the wall to out here somewhere around here and then another elbow straight up there yeah and we'll put uh, let's see if I find it. we've got a new iso valve so instead of using all these old fittings see these here these are an inferior fitting to these John Guest. Now, if it was all on show, I'd go with copper and, uh, you know, it's a less bulky situation, but because this is going to be hidden behind the toilet now, we'll go with the, go with these. Copper pipe in between. It's never going to leak. Go with the flow. Go with the flow, baby. Hey, that'd be... Uh, Good name for the plumbing firm now. Go with the flow plumbing. Start to yeah.
only just turn the water off outside at the main so we know there's no water on famous last words I once did a job where I did the exact same uh, thing turn the water off checked it at the taps it was to the shower that we were doing a job and uh, cut the pipe started cutting the pipe water started coming out of it under pressure and it turned out the pipe was uh, teed into next door's supply after we ended up putting new ceilings in because all on the insurance it wasn't our fault right so pipe slice we cut it there Okay, so that's where the the pipe will be coming down. So we're gonna pull this down and go in. I'd say about about there. Yeah, there's nothing behind there. Loose as well, isn't it? All that. It's what? Loose. Yeah, it's not great, is it? So, there you go, guys. Good last job, eh? Right, so good practice. Always clean your copper up a little twist with this every cloth. That white um, PTFE tape, Toby. There's a little roll of white tape in there. It's all back there. Right. So. I know there's other ways of doing these things. I know there's PTFE paste and all this kind of stuff, but. I old school. I just use this uh, tape here and put a little bit around the olive. Just for added uh, security. And the reason I'm putting it around the olive here without uh, putting the, the olive actually on the pipe is um, I don't want to um, I don't want to have to try and wrap it around the pipe in that you know it's a little bit tight isn't it so put that on put that on so got that on there So, you always look for the arrow, 
So the arrow is the direction of flow of the water. So a lot of the time people put them on the wrong way round. So put your arrow facing the flow, which which we've done. And the other thing is, people sometimes don't push the vet on properly. Uh, would you just pass me the other grips, please? I bought these in Bulgaria. Me and Mark, when we were training in Bulgaria, we seen this like um, hardware shop, and uh, they, these were two euro. But well, two euro. That's good. That. <laughs> two euro. <laughs> yeah. Had a case full of uh, like cheap tools. Way on. I heard that do. Um some trade I like to go to charity shops and get in the old tools like the old yeah, ones well, that being used you can loads. find uh, there's a lot of tools there from back in the day that we that are kind of collector's items a lot of them are just out rubbish like but right so that's on um the uh isolation point is facing this way so we can get into it then when we uh come down with our pipe like that so actually over that way a little bit I think so where yeah, put it yeah. where put the initial mark there it's more like it's more like the magic pen there a pen will write on anything it will mark anything but not your checks <laughs> <laughs> right Leatherman wave, little saw, handy for doing little jobs like this. A bit awkward to get a drill in, so just cut a hole out. Right, it's a handyman tool. I got one, but mine's just a Stanley knife. <laughs> you're, a, you're a butcher, though, aren't you? Yeah. So that goes, well, the pipe goes in there like that. Not that one. The new and, one. Uh, yeah, we can uh, we can put our elbow there like that. So that. Is I'd say uh, hundred mil. I push that pipe so. Hold on, hold on. Hundred mil. Tony using all of his plumbing skills. Well, I haven't seen for a while. Actually, no, I haven't seen you with on this half like to You do the drains now. Huh? Like well, this boy. I say your, your Mark took over all, all the plumbing side of the business four years ago. Four years? How long he's been doing it? Well, since he took over the business, he started, he started working as my apprentice, uh, must be eight years ago. No, he's how long has he been married? About 15 years. Oh, yeah, 15 years. So yeah. it must be. So you see, what I'm doing now is because I can. Uh, work with the pipe itself I'm uh, just putting a bit of you don't have to do this but it's just 
It's just kind of good practice, I think. So, let's just clean that one. Yes. Right, um, yeah, Mark became my apprentice when he was about 19. Yeah. And he's now 38. So that was a long time ago. Okay. Consider himself a professional. So you always check that there's a, the rubber ring, uh, the rubber seal, and um, the uh, metal grip piece. Push that in there, nice and easy, till it goes all the way on. Tighten that up. That's it. This is a favourite. People don't bother to tighten this up, but you've got to because that locks the ring in place. Okay. That's ready to go into there, like that. Uh, we'll treat the customer to a brand new piece of pipe. So we'll put that through, like that. So that lines up we want it to go. Right, so just give these, uh, just just clean them up. I mean, you don't. No, I don't think you. It's essential if you're using push fit to clean them, but that's safe and sorry. Old habits die hard, don't they? Yep. Right, so you see, we've got a little bend on the. Bend on that pipe there uh, because uh, I've kind of pulled it over a little bit to line up, but that bend won't be inside the pipe here. There we go, all the way home. Cross threaded Tony lad. Yeah. You don't want no cross threaded pipe work. Make sure it's pushed off. She does. Happy days. Is Yorkshire tea there, isn't it? I think it is. Isn't it? No, do you know what? I think it's like Tetley or something. But it's quite nice, isn't it? You can go Yorkshire. Yeah. I think I, I must have had the rogue tea bag there because I, I know me too. Do you know your tea? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what do you think of that then? So, we're just cutting that uh, piece of pipe for. Uh, inside there. That pipe's finished with put it in the hole. Well, leave it there for now. Let me cut it then. 
Can you get the camera in there? It's wrong. Yeah. Alright, so I put this this one on, this elbow, put the other elbow one on to our new piece of pipe. Just make sure that's nice and clean. Gently push that home, you can feel it go down, tighten them up. Beautiful. Happy days, nice and tight. So, so what we've got now, what we've got now, so what we've got now, it's a completely different job. Uh, so that's been altered. Yeah, I know you um, purists out there. Oh, why didn't you use copper fittings, Tony? Copper's better. Well, I've been doing this game for a long time. And them John Gas fittings are pretty good. So, looking at that from here, that nasty bit of pipework is gone. Uh, even if you're standing here, it's very difficult to see the pipework. But now, pipework's in a decent uh, position. And we've all oh, simple stuff, guys. But at the end of the day, why would you leave a piece of horrible pipe sticking out the wall there? So now we can get on with clearing the drain, so. You're on something already? I'm on it. Excellent. Right there. Right, wash the toilet with that uh, shaft. Nice and easy, does it? Every time. Well, there's Tony dipping his hobnobs. You didn't even take a bite. <laughs> That's mine, that one. So we brought the longer, more heavy, juicy flex shaft in. There's. Ooh. Got 15 meters on that, so. Don't show me. Yeah. Shall we say end of it? So we've definitely been in some kind of. Uh, yeah, but well, we'll we'll get a bag for that in a minute. Um, yeah, just leave that. Right. Yeah. 
Put it in there. Now. Okay, so going a bit off uh, reservation here. Don't normally uh, send a jetter up towards the house, but such is life. Yeah, let's go for it. Stand up so stand out the way a bit, I don't want you to end up with it in your face. There we go, you're in now. So what's happening now is Tony's giving a gentle plunge upstairs and I'm hoping that uh, we will uh, get this thing unblocked because it's been a job and a half. Definitely moving now. Something's happening in there. Yeah. Right, start pulling it back nice and slow, so, so we're in four metres. Now we can see that the pipe is completely rammed with uh, compacted toilet paper. Uh, keep coming, mate. Yeah. Completely rammed, mate, all the way down the pipe, all the way. All the way down a pipe. Look at that. Completely. It's cluing in on itself. Yeah, that's why it keeps sealing itself up. See, it's just sealed up then. Keep coming. Yeah. Wow. That is one clogged up pipe. Keep coming. So it's one down. Come on. 